Okay, so we have our three different sizes of potatoes and our single sizes of beet and sweet potato uh, for the center. Beet and sweet potato. And here's my pucks of russet potato. So I have two smalls, a medium, and my large here. Uh, I've set the depth of my mandolin already to somewhere around a half a uh, millimeter. Um, I use one of those to calibrate it. How do you know? How do you know when you're thin enough? You know when you're thin enough because your slice of potato at that point will be thin enough that you can read a cookbook to it. So that's how thin you want it. I mean, extremely so. Oops. Oops. Uh, hopefully that reads on camera. You can see those letters. That's how thin I want it. So I take my large potato and simply get as many pieces as I can. Um, the only mandolin I would substitute for a nice French one like this uh, is made by that same Swiss company. It comes in at 10 to 20 dollars and you can get a fraction of a millimeter out of that mandolin. I don't have one um, because I have this one. And I have this one because it cuts these so nice. Uh, it, they're not wedge shaped. Um, I guess that one is a little bit, but this is the same size all the way around. And then back into the water to prevent them from oxidizing. Okay? So turning it around, keeping it in the center. Um, that way it comes out with one piece. That is the same thickness all the ways around. Okay, uh, call, call that good on that one. Um, my other favorite thing is the Swiss peeler. You can just take off such curved and curvaceous pieces of um, vegetable that it's really nice for that. So, I'll stack all these back up, making sure they're getting a good soaking in this salt water. I want to keep them separate. I leave the top of the skin on this for grip. I mean, um, that's really nice. I can grab that easily. So this is the medium sized potato. And uh, with the top on it, with the skin on the top of it, it makes um, a really nice grab point. So there's that go to the skin and put that in my scrap bucket. Stack all these flower or uh, these petals up together and put them in the salt water. Okay. Next move, my small cylinders again the Swiss peeler taking out the bottom leaving the top to grab so nice for the way it comes around and um, just shaves off a corner or deep cut in the veggie. Turn. center or the last part before the decorative pieces in these things. So there's that. Got my three different sizes of tater in here. Separate. Now I cut these in in order of uh, least offensive colors. So white first, then this orange, obviously, 
the white can't stay in this orange, and neither can the beet. So the beet goes last, and um, the sweet potato or orange will go first. We don't have any purple potatoes now because they're out of season, but that's usually what I use here. So um, there's our cuts sweet potato or yam, sorry. These are yams. And the water. And now for the final beat, I'm going to again put down a paper towel so that I don't have to wash this entire cutting board. Um, just barely feel the beads. That can move itself there. Nice beautiful purple bead. Same thing with sugar. I can feel the sugar biting on the mandolin. Holding that thing, I'll call that good. And look at those beautiful cross sections of bead that will top these. Okay.